Welcome back to my daily report market videos with me, which is pay market analyst at Handtech on Monday, 3rd of June. Looking at Euro dollar, which has recovered in the last session or so. Strong positive candle on Friday really did pick up the market from that floor again around 111.10. Um, that uh, support that's been in place for the last uh, five, six weeks has uh, been maintained once more. But you can also see I've got uh, drawn in here a uh, a run really of lower highs, um, which would suggest that there's a continuation of um, sort of pressure towards uh, selling into strength. Um, you can see that through the uh, momentum indicators where the RSI is sort of failing around the 50 mark, pulling back towards uh, just below there or thereabouts 40. So a negative bias is in place, but it's not a strong negative bias and it's not a move that um, is decisive, really. It's, it's sort of more of a, a negative drift, really, on euro dollar at the moment. And um, you are still in, in a position, I think, to sell into strength and you've got all these momentum indicators which are negatively set up on a medium term basis. The moving averages are all falling away, providing resistance that 55 day moving average in recent uh, recent rallies has, has proved the limit um, and that comes in around 12.20 interestingly enough 12.20 if you look on the hourly chart it's a bit of a is a bit of a pivot um, and 12.15 was the the resistance that we saw uh, last week so around there or thereabouts just above 112 big figure you've got quite a significant resistance overhead and um, you've seen the market rallying to 11.90 this morning and falling away um, so that would be interesting to see how the market now reacts because you've got the hourly chart which uh, has given a negative cross on the on the MACD lines. Stochastic's also fallen back. So is this a point at which that rally starts to peter out? Um, the candlestick at the moment on the daily chart is, yes, marginally positive, you'd say, without being all out strong. Um, eight pips up on the day, you'd, you'd argue that uh, you'd want to see a continuation of that recovery if this was going to be a decisive move higher. Um, and as I said, sort of the lower high element to this, the fact that 12.15 comes in, um, so yeah, it's a basis of resistance uh, around that level as well. So is this a selling opportunity would be the question uh, to really consider. Uh, I I mean, on, I think uh, on, a, on a fact that uh, you do have this run of lower highs, I think this is going to prove to be a selling opportunity and further testing of that 11.10 support of the floor um, is likely to be seen in due course. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading and I'll speak to you later.